Talk to me a little bit about how the energy complex has significantly changed since the war in Ukraine started and how it will continue to change. So you, of course, have gone south to Africa to try and find replacements from some of the energy that used to import from Russia. H how will that you know, change and evolve in the next years? Uh, it's evolving. I, I think that uh, it's going to take about two, three years, at least for, for the south of Europe, uh, to be able to replace completely the no. Russian gas. Uh, so what we are doing, so we, we are covering completely our customers, our activity, because we consume a lot of gas in refinery and in chemicals, and we are covering all of our retail, B2B and B2C. Now we are bringing additional gas uh, to secure uh, Italy. And then for Europe, uh, Europe, uh, especially Germany and Holland, uh, they've been very fast to, to put yes. in place the new regasification plant, really, really a good job. Uh, but now, now you have to replace, uh, find also the gas. Uh, the gas is, uh, we have uh, at least uh, 60, uh, considering that 60 billion cubic meters coming to replace partially Russian gas, we are still, we have still had our 60 billion cubic meters to replace. Because last year we had Russian gas until July, about 80%, then they, then they decreased. Well, decrease, and now practically is practically zero. So now they, they, the big challenge uh, starting from March is really to be able to find the, the gas that right. we really need to replace it 100%. Where, where do you see the price of gas and where do you see the price of oil going? Uh, so the price of gas, the price of gas in oil, what we have now is not really uh, representative of what we are going to have uh, when the um, uh, driving season starts. These, these, the, 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 the weather is, is, is okay, but also this season is always quite flat or down in terms of uh, uh, commodity price. So I, we think that uh, the oil price this year can range between $80 and $85, uh, considering a, that China, China is going yeah. to recover. Uh, and the gas now is very down, but I don't think that is mean at this level. Uh, as soon as we have to, we have to start to uh, uh, fill our storage facility in Europe, yeah. and China is going to restart. So I think that the price now is fourteen dollar per million BTU, more or less fifteen in uh, in Europe. I think that could be um, about uh, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five. That could be. And then maybe higher in the in the peak in the peak season. The peak season. So, so to what kind of level? Or like peak could be even twenty eight. No. Uh, I, I think that could be right. reach uh, around thirty. But it depends if we are able to uh, find the gas, and we have to consider efficiency yeah. because the, this year overall I think that fifteen percent of a shift we, we reached fifteen percent fifteen percent of efficiency. So if we are able to keep this kind of uh, efficiency plan so reduce the gas consumption and use other kind of uh, unfortunately fossil fuels because uh, we know that renewable are not enough to, to replace gas uh, maybe the price can be can be lower